Aries, what up though? All right, let's see what you're up to. Here, hold on, I need some coffee. I've done a few readings already, so I gotta keep my throat chakra up, you know? <laughs> it's good to keep drinks around when you're doing a lot of talking. <laughs> So that's why I bring both. <laughs> I bring both drinks, um, water and coffee. I'm like, I need both. Sometimes, you know, tea or whatever, but not much of a tea drinker. I used to be. I used to be a hella tea drinker. Um, I love like chai and stuff. It's just coffee hits so different, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know. And now I've become like a fucking nerd about coffee. Like, give me the bougiest kind. <laughs> um, let's see. Alright, Aries. Your energy is sassy, bold, and resilient. And then we have the blue avians. Oh yeah, that's Taussians, by the way. And we have the blue avians. Which is all about philosophy, releasing karma, and mysticism. Ooh, having a spiritual breakthrough. Mm-hmm. I see you. That's me too, actually. How are you sitting in my energy? <laughs> uh, also, so, yes. Let us see. Let's, let's talk about this. What kind of karmic cycles are we releasing? So like, it looks like you paid off some debt there. <laughs> That's good. That means that you get to move forward on something. Um, this brings you so much closer to your spirit. This like to your higher self, you know, it really pulls you out of the 3D and into the 5D when you go through this kind of transformation. We have the Page of Cups, the lover, right? This is somebody who, like, cheers people on. Somebody who's, like, um, or maybe this is somebody that you cheer on. Somebody you want to offer your cup to. Somebody you're, you're like, hey, what up, though? Like, this is a very flirtatious Page of Cups. Um, yeah, this is just somebody who really vibes for you or you vibe for them, right? Three of Wands, right? So, um... This could be opening up communication. Um, it could also be a third party situation. Um, could be something. Uh, Knight of Swords is kind of coming in with a hard truth, right? Maybe you're in a relationship. And that's the karma you're releasing because you fell for somebody else and you want to be honest and come forth with that? I don't know. We're going to find out. That's kind of just my first guess. Right? <laughs> Off of just the energy I'm seeing here. Um, well, not guess. I guess my first intuition. Um... Alright, Page of Cups. Is this you or is this somebody else? of cups yeah this is somebody you want to offer your love to this is somebody that you see as your wish fulfillment your happy ending your everything right and you're like that's it and then this three of wands though maybe they're in a relationship i don't know we're gonna find out what does this three of wands mean right
card literally ran away. <laughs> Hold on a second while I catch it. Don't mind me. Okay. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. Okay. I'm even more confused. <gasps> no, I'm not. Knight of Pentacles. It's all about money coming in. You met this person at work, didn't you? Didn't you? Okay. Um, could be your boss with the Knight of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up, Aries. Give me just a dang minute. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's clarify that. Or maybe this is somebody who's really wealthy. I don't know. Let's clarify that again. So Knight of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, okay, this third party, it's not a coworker. Well, it might be, but that's not the context here. Um, so three of wands, third party, right? There's somebody else involved. Um, and it's like they bring in the money, right? And I know it sounds like, I know how it sounds, but this is what I'm seeing. They bring in the money with that Knight of um, Pentacles. But they don't bring in the love, right? With the Knight of Cups in reverse. Um, and with the Ace of Swords, it's like... You want a new beginning without them. You want to cut them out. Or they want to cut them out. The person that you're... That's on your mind. Something. But somebody wants to cut somebody out. But they feel like financially dependent on them, right? Um, Knight of Swords. You got three knights, bro. There's a lot of movement here. Coming in with that sword to have that uncomfortable conversation. Yeah, I feel like it's you that's in this relationship because you're the one wanting to offer your cup to somebody else and you also want to come in and tell somebody, um... And they come in with the truth about something, right? And have that hard conversation. Maybe break up, right? The swords, cutting cords. Um, Alright, let's clarify Knight of Swords. You also have 12, 12, 12 on the board. Yeah, four of swords in reverse. You're tired of feeling like guarded or like you have to walk on eggshells around this person. This person, you know, they don't bring in the love. They make you feel a lot of, they control the money. They don't bring in the love. They make you feel guarded. I feel like you're dealing with a narcissist. Right? That's what it feels like. And somebody over here is like your wish fulfillment, your happy ending. And you're like, I want to go towards that, but I need to cut this off. I need to end this, whatever this is, right? All right, so what happens? What's the future energy for Aries? Five of Swords, feeling conflicted, feeling conflict 
like, right? Like, this is somebody who, who likes to really trigger you. The best way to end conflict is not to respond, right? It's like taking the possum stance on a fight. Like, ain't nobody going to try to fight you if you play dead, right? <laughs> um, so play dead. Just blink out. Don't say shit. Don't even give them shit. Like, whatever the case is, if they're narcissists, they feed off of drama. They feed off of your negative energy, right? Um, so don't. Don't do the conflict, right? I know you're like, but they say exactly the things that trigger me. Da, da. I know. I know. <laughs> I know what they say. I know what they think. I know what they do. And that's why <laughs> I'm telling you, do not respond, right? Let them say what they got to say, right? It doesn't matter what they say. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter what they do. At the end of the day, what matters is your sanity right you feeling at peace sorry my beings are all crazy um yeah queen of cups you're in love bro you're like really in love with somebody else and you're tired of feeling this like energy right dude it might be a co-worker that you're in love with or something but whatever the case is it's like you want to offer your cup I just see you over here trying to offer it with that Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, Ten of Cups. Might be dealing with a water sign, Knight of Cups, in reverse. But that's somebody else who is not giving you love, right? That's your narcissist. Um, Six of Wands in reverse. This is like um, ending communication with somebody. Right? Three of Swords in reverse. It ain't gonna break your heart. It'll be the end of your sorrow. It will be the end of your sorrow. Um, okay. So, what is some advice for Aries? King of Swords, cut off the narcissist. Page of Pentacles in reverse, you need to um, hold on to your money. Super secret savings account, whatever the case is, get yourself a new job if you need to. Whatever. You need to have some money in your control, right? Or like, or if they're the ones that are financially dependent on you then it's your time to pull that, right? Nobody, no grown ass adult has any right to be codependent on another, right? It's bottom line, what it is. No grown ass adult has any right to be codependent on another. Um, unless there's like an agreement and you guys are happy on that. And even then it's not codependency if somebody is like putting in work in another way, you know, or whatever, like cleaning the house or, doing the food and whatever you know doing all the shopping and whatever if there's like a balance of give and take then that's one thing but if it's like all one person putting in the work or all the one person like doing the finances and all that shit that's where the problem lies there needs to be a balance all right um i'm gonna throw some oracles on here or any last minute messages from spirit. spirit has spoken that's what i've got for you um 
namaste i love you all and i wish you luck on your journeys i know that you're gonna come through this and you're gonna be happy as fuck i know that you will <laughs> you got this all right i'll see you on the next 